The Lord be with you. Welcome to the second day of week two of Advent 2020. This is our Union Church of Hinsdale Lectio Divina series. Today's scripture reading is still in the book of John, but it is just a few verses after where we left off. Today's reading is the first chapter of John, verses 10 through 13. On our first reading, we will just simply see what is going on in this passage and what the text is saying. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. In this second reading, see if there's anything unsettling or disturbing to you, or perhaps something particularly appealing. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. On our third reading, <clears throat> see if there is a single phrase or perhaps just a word that is jumping out at you in this passage. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. In the second section, our meditatio, visualize the passage, or perhaps the phrase or word that has stuck out to you. What is it that you see in your mind? He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. On our fifth reading, what part of the story is resonating with what is happening in your life right now? He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. In our final reading today, I invite you to think about what this text is saying to you specifically. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who are born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, 
or of the will of man, but of God. In our third section, we acknowledge the presence of God and seek God's divine guidance. This time you are welcome to pray on your own, or you can follow along with me, verses 1 through 8 and 23 and 24 of Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me. And lean me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. Let us now take a minute to express our feelings or our thoughts about this passage to God in prayer. God, how can I be more of what you hope for me to be? Amen. In the fourth contemplative section, I invite you to use the word or phrase that stuck out to you as a mantra and repeat it interiorly and silently in your heart. It can be for a minute or two, five, 10, 15, 20, whatever suits you best. If, an, if it was an image that came to mind, I want you to bring that image to your mind's eye and focus on that image. If distractions come, which they always do, that is perfectly okay. Acknowledge them and dismiss them. And when your time of meditation is over, Take the specific intention that God has blessed you with today and go forth into the world, living your life with God by your side. Amen. Go in peace. <laughs>